BBP35 and BBP37 sign and label printers give you several powerful options to create, print, and save pipe marker labels. From either your home screen or using the More Label Types button, select the Pipe Marker application. When creating a new file, you can select from different types of pipe markers or arrow banding tape. In this example, we're going to look at standard pipe markers. These ranges follow the guidelines of whichever pipe marking standard you've selected. We'll touch on this later in this video. When you select either the tape width you are going to use or the pipe outside diameter, including insulation, the pipe marker length and text height auto-calculate for you to meet the standard. Press the Next button to describe the pipe contents. Again, the app will notify you of the tape and ribbon color required for your pipe contents in order to comply with the standard. On the next screen, you can type in the actual pipe contents text to appear on the marker. There's an option to type in more than one line of text, but you're cautioned that when you do this, you may no longer comply with the character height requirements of the standard. Next, you have the option to select any graphics, other than the flow arrow, that you may choose to put on your pipe marker. The final step is to indicate your arrow preferences. You can choose to have arrows before or after the text, or both, as well as specify direction of the arrow, left, right, or bi-directional. After pressing Finish, your marker is in the main editor. From here you can save, print, or edit your pipe marker data. Another item to note is that you can change the compliance standard for the pipe marker application. From the editor screen within the pipe marker application, press the Menu button, then select the System Setup button. This is where you select your preferred industry or regional standard for pipe marking, and this will then automatically change certain size and color guidelines that appear in prompts within the app.